All right, guys, we've got a real treat for you now. Every week here at One Mic Stand, we give a comic who's uh, just on their way getting started a chance to do a featurette spot. It's a 10 minute feature. Uh, your next act uh, this is her first time doing anything over five minutes, so it's going to be fantastic. She's an excellent performer, an amazing writer. She's only just started doing stand up comedy, and she's absolutely killing it. A good friend of mine. Please get that round of applause going. Bring it up to a 10. Hello, hello, hello. Frank Walker from National Tar. Hello. So I just get a kick out of that. It's a real cheap laugh for me. I just want to see how many people can really relate to that one. Um, yeah, but um, uh, it's my first time doing 10 minutes. So yeah, give it up. Thank you, thank you. Um, it's not my only first, actually. Um, yeah, 19 weeks. So. Can I get a round of applause? Thank you. Um, no, not really, it's just my gut. <laughs> yeah, can I get a round of applause for my gut? Yeah, it's funny how, you know, eating a few too many Cheetos gets like a bigger round of applause than carrying a human child inside. So, it's a bit weird. Um, it's, it's a good thing I'm not pregnant because I drank a shitload last night. Yeah. I'm sorry, it just, it really kills me when people think that the simple mention of alcohol is somehow a form of humour in itself. Like, just mentioning it, like, oh, lads, gonna have a few beers tonight, are we? Yeah, have a few beers, yeah, beer. <laughs> oh, yeah, beers. Or like, four o'clock, ladies, it's wine time, ring-a-ding-ding, -ding, you know? Oh, someone get me a wine, oh my god, I so need a wine. <laughs> You know, I'm sorry, but it's not funny, really. Um, it's, it's, I think it's workplace humour, though, isn't it? It's the kind of humour that uh, is not really that funny anywhere else, but you put it in the workplace, in the office, and it's, it's, it's great. Like, um, the passing of time, for some reason. Um, you know, it's not particularly funny, but you get it in the workplace, and it's like, oh, 2000 and, it's 2016, isn't it? Yeah, oh, I wrote 2015. <laughs> oh, 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 sorry, is it August already? Oh, I know, oh my gosh, I just so didn't see that coming. Oh my gosh, oh, the passing of time. <laughs> It's like, the other one is chocolate, all right? Chocolate is just like currency. Like, you, you put chocolate in an office and it's like the building's on fire, you know? It's like, oh, who's got chocolate? Oh, someone's got chocolate. Oh, oh, no, I better not. No, 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 don't take it away from me. No, 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 I better not. All right, I'll be naughty. I'll be naughty. <laughs> that word naughty, like, I'm sorry, but if you think that, like, shoving a lint bowl in your mouth <laughs> is some form of rebellion, then how boring must your life be? <laughs> like, honestly. Like, what do you do when you have an orgasm, just, like, immediately shoot yourself in the head? Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, like, I, I, was, I don't know, speaking of orgasms, um, uh, if you go up Main North Road, um, there is an adult store, a sex store, that is Australian themed. It's called Down Under Pleasure. Um, there's like a Southern Cross picture in the window and a boxing kangaroo. Um, I don't know what you're into, but like, isn't Australiana like the least sexy thing you can think of? <laughs> Like, what do you want to do? Shove a lamington up, yeah? <laughs> like, oh, oh, yeah, I really love it when a ringtail tickles my anus. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> like, I can just, like, imagine this kind of, you know, ageing couple just, like, going at it with, like, a ma matching pair of wraparound sunnies like, that they got from the down to pleasure. Like, oh, this is great. We don't even have to make eye contact. Yeah. <laughs> Great Australian way, not making eye contact. Um, but yeah, another thing Aussies do, I find, and maybe it's universal, but I think another thing we do is we show mateship with our teeth. So hear me out. Um, so you're walking down the street and um, some, your best friend's coming towards you. And you're like, hi, how are you going? Oh my gosh, I haven't seen you for ages. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my God, you look great. Okay. All right, well, they better go. Okay, bye. So you show them heaps of teeth, all right? You give them lots of teeth. Uh, and then you, or if you pass someone that you know semi well, 
um, you you know, you kind of acquaintances, you'll go past them and you'll be like, oh yeah, oh, oh we're just doing a bit of shopping. Yeah, mm, yeah, mm, yeah, mm. Okay, all right, well we better go, okay, bye. So a medium amount of teeth, right? Um, but yeah, you walk past a complete stranger and nine times out of 10, if you make eye, accidentally sort of make eye contact with that stranger, both of you will do this. You'll go like, <laughs> no teeth for you, no teeth for you, stranger. I'm not going to trust you with my pearly whites. Uh, I was in the, the bathroom uh, earlier and uh, I was waiting to go into the cubicle and a woman um, who comes out of the cubicle, she comes out and as she passes me, she's like, <laughs> I was just like, what the fuck? Like, what is she laughing at? Her poo? Like, or like, has she left something in there for me? But it's just those, those, those sort of awkward things that we do, I guess. Um, like, I had an awkward moment the other day. I was walking with a takeaway coffee uh, through Runt Mall, and I was walking along and um, accidentally, you know how you accidentally squeeze a takeaway coffee and a little bit of froth kind of comes out that hole in the lid? I got turned on by that. <laughs> yeah, I, I just saw this froth spurt out and I was like, oh, oh wow. Um, yeah, I know it was warm in my hand, and yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah, um, and now I've forgotten what I'm going to say. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Um, yeah, but um, oh, anyway, I was walking through the mall and uh, you know those, um, there's these fundamentalist Christians in the mall who hand out leaflets and do prayer rituals and so on. And one of them says to the other one, oh, hey, Jeremy, what are we, what are we going to pray for next? And Jeremy's like, oh, mm, how about the mall? Let's pray for Rondell Mall. <laughs> Uh, now, and the other guy's like, yeah, yeah, let's pray for Rhonda Moore. And I, I was sort of thinking maybe Syria or the US election. Maybe. No, no, no. I'm like, dear God, please let there be 50% off at Joe Jones. <laughs> dear God, please let there be 50% off at Ed Harry. Yeah, yeah. And now, this whole time, they haven't been saying, like, pray for them all, pray for them all. They've been saying, pray for them all, pray for them all, pray for the bloody mall. Um, yeah, but um, I mean, I shouldn't, I shouldn't judge them too. I know this is kind of lame, but uh, I shouldn't judge them too harshly, really, because um, I don't really like to judge too much. I don't really like judgmental people, um, and I think people judge each other for the smallest, tiniest little things that you know get under people's skin, like. Um, you know, people who judge people on public transport for not communicating. Like, oh, it's such a shame, you know, everyone just looks at their phone or looks out the window, no one says hello anymore, we've lost all human contact, you know, civilization's going to end. <laughs> and I just sort of think, like, you know, people have had a hard day's work, um, they're tired, uh, they're catching up on their emails or Facebook or whatever, you know, maybe it's just resting face, you know, maybe they're not so, you know, upset. But, you know, I'm thinking to these people, like, what do they do when they get on the bus? Like, like hi, 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 yeah, and, like, just high fives all down the aisle. <laughs> Start dinging the bell. <laughs> it's like sit next to someone and be like. <laughs> it's like, no, you look down at your phone just like everyone else. Uh, and people also judge, like, couples judge other couples in rest stops for not communicating. Like, there'll be a couple, like, not talking. And there'll be another couple going, oh, babe, we're never going to be like that. Like, that's never going to be you and me. Like, we're so solid. They must be so unhappy. These people have probably been together for, like, 40 years. Like, I mean, after 40 years, let's face it, like, what is there to talk about? Like, you know, like, oh, what did you do last night? Oh, you watched Burjo's catchphrase with you. Oh, how was that? Yeah, good. I farted once. Like, you know, there's no much to talk about. And, you know, these people... Like, they probably haven't had sex for a long time either. And I applaud that. I actually encourage that. Because imagine having sex with the same person for 40 years. I mean, that's just disgusting, right? That's like a dog with a hump toy. And it just, like, you know, humps it and humps it and humps it until it gets a little hole in it and the stuffing starts to come out and it starts to smell. And it keeps humping it and humping it and humping it. And it just destroys this hump toy. And you have to throw it away. You know? Like, leave that piece of meat alone. What? Me, I prefer a nice overflowing latte. Thank you very much for your